I think we can both agree that grips are pretty important. That's why most companies spend a whole lot of money, effort, and time making sure their grips you can actually hold on to. What if I don't do any of that and make my own for $5? Now, I may not have the world's greatest collection of graphic tees or design skills, but I do have is a 3D printed grip that I made out of some fun flexi filament that's actually uh, can be pretty soft. What's kind of cool about it is that because in 3D printing you can control the uh, internal geometry of a part as well, I actually tried to make it super like thin and kind of hollowy on hollow on the inside so that it would be a little softer to the touch and maybe give you a little better grip on the bike. And uh, it didn't work. Like even a little bit. It's the least comfortable grip I can think of. Uh, I do like the thickness of it. It's got a very uh, familiar size. Um, but you know what? It feels decent in the hand size-wise. Size, it's a, it's a perfect size. I think it's a good, uh, it's it's more than enough grip, really. Some might even think this grip is, is, too, is too big. But wait, there's more. See, I didn't just print a grip, okay? I also printed a, a, set, of, a set of pedals, all right? Printed a set of pedals, too. And those are cool because uh, like with the grips, I can control the, uh, the inside geometry, which means that uh, <laughs> there's actually sort of like a bearing that's printed inside that allows it to spin uh, on, on the crank like normal pedals do without having to make it a multi-piece construction like normal pedals. But, you know, enough talking about them. I want to I wanna ride them. I want to take them to a trail. So we're going to put them on the bike, and then we'll go to the trail, and we'll see what's up. So I'm out here at an undisclosed trail where I can get into copious amounts of shenanigans. Um, but I think my freshly 3D printed grips have actually baked a little too long in the sun because now they're just rotating freely on my handlebars. As for the pedals, these guys are looking pretty good, um, but I have a feeling that they're not going to last too long as soon as I hit some jumps over there. But without much else, let's, uh, let's see how long I can survive. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I'm gonna try to ride down this gentle incline and not die. So, let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just see. Am I recording still? Yeah, let's just, just see how it goes. Well, that went about as well as any of us expected it to, but I wasn't done yet. See, I still wanted to see how much abuse the whole system could take, and I really wanted to compare my 3D printed ones, my 3D printed accessories, grips and pedals, against some stock grips and pedals, some actually market faring, decent grips and pedals. So if uh, snapping them right off the bike wasn't you know, enough testing for you, I've also gone ahead and uh, done the incredibly scientific and analytic method of just big man hit with big hammer. And uh, as you can see, the pedals actually uh, did about as well as their, you know, cast aluminum contemporaries. The grips, um, actually the grips are a real winner here because the normal grips are completely unusable now and that was quite a waste of a decent set of grips that hadn't fully worn yet. But my 3D printed blue ones <laughs> came out pretty much unscathed. So, you know, <laughs> take that big grip. Big grip, take. 
Um, well, any, anyways, um, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. See you next time.